SMIC's 5 nanometers process is making waves in the semiconductor world with its impressive power efficiency. This breakthrough is especially exciting given the ongoing chip war between the US and China. Despite restrictions on advanced chip making equipment, SMIC has achieved this milestone using existing DUV equipment, which is truly remarkable. This new technology could significantly boost the performance of future Huawei devices while maintaining energy efficiency, a potential game changer. China is rapidly advancing in tech and science, and we're here to bring you reliable updates with no speculation, just facts. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more. A tipster suggests that the 5 nanometers process, currently in testing, might go into mass production by the end of the year. This could mean more energy-efficient, high-performance Huawei smartphones are on the horizon. The path to progress has been tough for SMIC, facing higher costs and longer production times. Despite these obstacles, SMIC's resilience and innovation shine through. Due to U.S. trade sanctions, SMIC relies on older DUV equipment instead of cutting-edge EUV machinery, making their 5 nanometers process more time-consuming and expensive. Estimates indicate that SMIC's 5 nanometers wafers could be up to 50% more costly than those made by TSMC due to lower yields and longer production times. This cost difference could be a major challenge for Huawei, which aims to use this technology in its next generation of smartphones. However, there is hope. With ongoing improvements and optimizations, SMIC might boost yields and reduce costs, making the 5 nanometers process more feasible for mass production. This technology promises benefits in power efficiency and performance, giving Huawei a potential edge in the competitive market. As competition in the semiconductor industry heats up, breakthroughs like these are vital for companies wanting to stay ahead. Despite SMIC's advancements in the 5 nanometers process, Huawei's market situation is mixed. Market research firm Canalys reports a 41% year-on-year increase in Huawei's smartphone shipments in China in the second quarter of 2024. China is rapidly advancing in technology and science. We provide you with two crucial news videos daily from reliable sources, with no speculation, just facts. Please like the video and subscribe for more updates. According to a tipster, the 5 nanometers process technology currently in testing might enter mass production by the end of this year. This could lead to more energy-efficient and high-performance Huawei smartphones soon. Huawei's recent growth stands in sharp contrast to Apple, which saw a 6.7% drop in shipments during the same period. This highlights the tough competition Apple faces in China. Huawei's comeback has been fueled by the success of its new Pure 70 series, which has been popular among consumers. However, despite these gains, Huawei still faces significant hurdles, especially in the global market. U.S. sanctions have limited its access to crucial technologies, hindering its international competitiveness. Yet, within China, Huawei remains strong, thanks to its innovative products and strategic market position. The company's emphasis on high-end devices, like foldable smartphones, has helped to capture more of the premium market. Foldable smartphones are at the cutting edge of tech innovation, with both Huawei and Apple making notable advancements. Huawei is set to launch a trifold smartphone, which could transform the foldable market with its dual hinge design, offering more flexibility and functionality. The prototype is ready and mass production is slated to begin later this year. Meanwhile, Apple is also gearing up to enter the foldable smartphone market with a clamshell model expected to debut around 2026. This step marks Apple's entry into a rapidly growing segment that is attracting increasing consumer interest. The foldable smartphone market is heating up with major brands like Samsung, Xiaomi, and Oppo offering a variety of models. Apple's upcoming entry is expected to heighten competition, driving innovation, and offering more options for consumers. The outlook for foldable phones is promising. Manufacturers are continually enhancing designs and features. Huawei's trifold smartphone 
which can fold into three sections with two hinges, highlights their innovative approach and versatility. They are also integrating advanced AI technologies to improve user experience. Apple's anticipated clamshell foldable iPhone is creating significant excitement. Their entry could introduce new design concepts and technological breakthroughs. With Apple's collaboration with Asian suppliers to develop components for its foldable phone, we can expect a wave of innovation and increased competition in the market. Exciting times are ahead for tech lovers and consumers as the foldable smartphone market evolves. Recent advancements in foldable smartphones are changing the game for both makers and buyers. Big names like Huawei and Apple are pouring resources into research and development, promising more advanced and flexible devices soon. The popularity of foldable phones in China, where shipments have more than doubled from 2022 to 2023, shows a growing demand for innovative and high-end products. This trend is likely to continue as consumers seek unique designs and better functionality. The foldable smartphone market offers both opportunities and challenges. The high costs of developing and producing these devices mean companies need to be strategic with their pricing and marketing. Balancing innovation with affordability is key to capturing more of the market. As competition heats up, those who can provide the best and most cost-effective solutions will lead this exciting sector. SMIC has shown impressive resilience and innovation despite strict U.S. sanctions, which aim to restrict China's access to advanced semiconductor manufacturing tools, especially the crucial EUV lithography machines needed for cutting-edge chip production. Even with the challenges it faces, SMIC has pressed on with developing its 5 nanometers technology using older DUV equipment. This progress has allowed the company to start small-scale production, a major milestone for China's semiconductor industry. SMIC is also expanding by setting up new production lines in Shanghai to make 5 nanometers chips for Huawei. This is part of a broader plan to boost China's independence in chip production. Even with the challenges it faces, SMIC has pressed on with developing its 5 nanometers technology using older DUV equipment. This progress has allowed the company to start small-scale production, a major milestone for China's semiconductor industry. SMIC is also expanding by setting up new production lines in Shanghai to make 5 nanometers chips for Huawei. This is part of a broader plan to boost China's independence in chip production. Although SMIC's production costs are higher and yields lower compared to top players like TSMC, their progress is a significant achievement. The partnership between SMIC and Huawei shows China's resolve to push through external pressures and advance its tech capabilities. Thank you for watching our in-depth look at the latest in semiconductor tech and the smartphone market. We've covered SMIC's innovative 5 nanometers process, its impact on Huawei, the competitive foldable smartphone scene, and SMIC's resilience amid US sanctions. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more insightful content. And until next time.